Hey, this is Nelta from Neo to Polymetrics with another shocking news from the German uh, defense budget reports. And this one, this one is really, it's, it's really getting ridiculous, you know. We had problems with helicopters for our marines which weren't allowed to fly above water. Our, um, our uh, G36 rifle uh, melts in the sun of Afghanistan. But this, this one, this one is really, really, I don't know what to say to this. It has been revealed that the German defense budget spent 80 million tax euros on the development of laser weapons. Yes, laser weapons. And they claim that the first weapons will be delivered, uh, the, the first delivery will be ready in two years. Two years, you know. Uh, a company called Rheinmetall Defense um, has claims that it has developed a, a tank with a laser cannon and uh, a truck with a laser cannon which they can produce within the next two years. Um, and a, a company named MBDA uh, claims that it has developed uh, laser cannons against small planes and drones that can fight over a distance of three kilometers already. Now, I have a question about this. Our government um, repeatedly states that our military is involved in missions around the globe that are just hum human missions that are done to improve the countries they go to. They make escort missions and protect when, uh, when wells are digged and stuff like this, you know. But when on earth, when you're building a school, do you need a fucking truck with a laser cannon that can shoot down a small drone from the sky? How is that in any, in any sense connected to each other? What army, what kind of army needs laser weapons? It's not the, you know, Red Cross we're coming to build schools and bring fresh, fresh water kind of army. It's the Stormtrooper kind of army. The US Navy kind of army. That is a kind of military that needs laser weapons. And that is why it's not just ridiculous that you, when you imagine that normal assault rifles are built so badly that they cannot be, uh, uh, not be used in combat when it's too hot, that the same people who use this kind of resource claim that they want to use laser cannons in their warfare. I mean, that's, come on, come on, <laughs> okay? But there's also this sincere side of what kind of vision do these people have for the military of Germany and what do they want to do um, with, the, with the options that we have. And I think that this pathway they chose is the very wrong pathway. Um, and this has shown multiple times in all history, I think. Okay, that's it for today. Bye-bye.